You're telling me it's almost $14 for a garden cop? Are you nuts? This is the problem with eating healthy. It's so easy to go to McDonald's and get a McChicken for $1.50 fries and a Coke. Total up to be about 4 or $5. It's so easy. I know it's not healthy, but it's easier. If you want people to come to you instead, make it a little cheaper. It's a lettuce. It's a spinach. It shouldn't be $15. All right, welcome back to the channel. This coffee is about to start hitting, so you know what that means. We're doing a deep dive. Oh! Oh, yeah. Anytime I have coffee, crazy things happen. So, in today's video, we're doing a deep dive on a new company that's IPOing. It's looking good. But first, let's dig into what's going on in the world of the crypto games. Crypto games have officially opened up today. Where is it? This was from yesterday. Today's November 5th. The crypto games are open. Crypto Squid games have uh, officially opened up for you to submit your picks submit your crypto picks in the discord link is in the description you have five days november 10th you're not allowed to submit anymore the contest officially begins so jump into that if you want to be crowned mvp for the month of november also recently we made some good gains on mana eh, 65 percent no big deal in crypto no big deal 65 percent profit looking good in just two days this is what happens when you're in the Retire Young channel. It's saucy. Also, sold high, 7% profit. For a stock, pretty good, pretty good. All right, moving along here. So we're looking today at IPO access on Robinhood. If you don't know about this, you could get early access into stocks that are IPOing. Um, you can get details about them as well. What is the price range gonna be? Project the market cap, etc. We're gonna dig into this one. In today's video, we're going with a sweet green. So we click on the sweet green and we see this is the initial filing, IPO access listing. Right now, we don't know the price range. Price range is coming soon. The final price will be available and then we'll IPO. So we can see right here what sweet green is. Um, they are a chain of more than 140 fast food fast casual restaurants throughout the US. I don't know why it tricked me there. It's not fast food, it's fast casual. So they're trying to be a little fancier. They're trying to separate themselves from, you know, your Burger Kings, your Wendy's, your McDonald's, your Checkers, Chick-fil-A's, all these other places. Because I, I actually am interested in this one because uh, I don't know why more people aren't. When you want f something fast, it's usually not healthy. It's not good for you. The only place that I could go that I could think of off the top of my head that's healthy, I wouldn't even say Chick-fil-A because they got fries, which are deep fried. It's not good, but they're good, but it's not good for you. So I would say a Chipotle. A Chipotle is a place where I would go and it's healthy, okay? You're getting your proteins, you're getting your carbs, you're getting your fats, your, your healthy fats, all the good little toppings you, you punch in there in a nice little delicious warm wrap. And I mean, don't underestimate food companies. Because people usually look for tech. Tech is booming right now. You can't lose in tech, pretty much. And we have a lot of tech that we're watching. Now, the market cap for Sweet Green is $1.4 billion, which is okay. That That's a good amount. Um, but we look at some cryptos like uh, a Doge or whatever, and it's $50 billion, And they do nothing. So looking at Sweet Green, it's a food company. They do a lot. They're giving you food. You need food to survive. But if we compare it to Chipotle, for example, Chipotle, look at this. I mean, their market cap is 50 billion, 50 billion, just for serving a burrito. They're not even giving you a toy with it, nothing. It's just a burrito. It doesn't take rocket science. So why is Chipotle worth 50 billion? Marketing, marketing's very good. It's healthy. The, the, the way it works, the app is very good. They're available through all these different platforms, Uber Eats, Grubhub, all these different platforms. And that's what Sweetgreen is trying to achieve. So let's dig into it a little bit deeper. So the first thing I Googled here is Sweetgreen investors. I wanna know which investors are buying into this because they might not even know what it is. They might hear the word Sweetgreen and think it means more money, which probably does. And they say, yeah, whatever, give them 50 million, 100 million, whatever, go. Sweetgreen made headlines last November when it raised 200 million in funding, round led by asset management mogul, Fidelity. Fidelity, green flag. Fidelity, they got their hands on a lot of stuff, but they usually pick winners. Fidelity, let's dig up the Fidelity. So looking at their 13F metrics, this is market value. Looks like they are obviously growing every quarter, looking good, just past one trillion. 
So Fidelity looks like they are on a positive track here, making good picks. So they invested in these guys. It has to be a good pick, right? It brought the fast casuals secured total equity to roughly 365 million, counting Shake Shack founder Danny Meyer. Oh, looking good. All right, now looking at this article, uh, it goes over the revenue. The revenue rose 52% year over year. The company's revenue fell 19% in 2020. We know why that happened. They post a net loss of 87 million. So they're still not profitable, but it's a new company. It will get there eventually. Chipotle took a while to get profitable, but now they're very profitable. Um, in 2021 of August, the company was closed a new investment in digital automation. Ooh, with his acquisition of Spice, a producer of robotic kitchen technology. This is what I've been waiting for. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to Chipotle. This lady, I'm not going to call her names. This lady, she's got weak hands. Because every time she scoops my protein, she puts it in. It's under It's under the amount that it should be. Because when I go on Thursday, sweet lady, Sally, she always double proteins me and doesn't say a word. She's just heavy-handed. There's a difference from heavy-handed and baby light-handed, paper-handed. One's a diamond hand, one's a paper hand. I prefer the diamond hand when it comes to food. So when these robots are doing this, I prefer this because it's always going to be the same. Always going to be the same. So that's a green flag. Now, let's get to the meat and the potatoes. Let's look at the menu. All right, here we go. So this is sweet green. Um, they are not like uh, vegan only. They do have proteins, which is a green flag. I wish they were near me because I would do a deep dive in person and try it out. But they're not. They're not near me. They're not everywhere, but they are rapidly growing. Their popular bowls are the kale Caesar. Chicken tomatoes, Parmesan, shaved Parmesan, shredded kale. Okay, sounds good. Guacamole greens, looking good. That actually looks really good. Um, roasted chicken, avocado, tomatoes, red Okay, blah, blah, blah. Buffalo chicken bowl, looking good. Now, this is the app. Now, it's all about how well does the app perform. Is it sluggish? Is it slow? Is it smooth? Does it move? All right, so looking at the app for Sweet Green, it looks good. They got uh, seasonal menu, digital exclusives, popular items, warm bowls, salads, custom. You can make your own sides. They got sides. Heirloom tomatoes and goat cheese, $4. Here's a hunk of bread, $2. Potatoes, they got $5. Kombucha. Let's look at the salad prices here. Veggie Caesar, $10.95. Okay, that better be a big salad for $10.95. $12.95, guacamole greens. There's avocado in there. I hope they don't charge extra for that. Cal Caesar, $11.95. Buffalo chicken, $14.00. Super green goodness, 10. Okay, these prices are reasonable until we got to the garden cob. You're telling me it's almost $14 for a garden cob? Are you nuts? This is the problem with eating healthy. It's so easy to go to McDonald's and get a McChicken for $1.50 fries and a Coke. Total up to be about 4 or $5. It's so easy. I know it's not healthy, but it's easier. If you want people to come to you instead, make it a little cheaper. It's a lettuce. It's a spinach. It shouldn't be $15. I like that you could customize it. That's cool. Uh, app, very easy to use. Oh, dietary restrictions. Okay, so they're fancy for like California people. Yeah, okay. My restrictions, soy, nuts, gluten, fish, meat, and dairy. Let's see what you got. Okay, I can't get anything. Everything has these things in it. Red flags. Red flags. I don't know what that means. Okay, so look at this. They break down all the ingredients. This is actually a very nice app. And it, ooh, look at this. Toppings, cilantro. Wow, look at how this app works. Okay, very fancy. Okay, so the app is really good. I'm quite impressed with the app. Runs perfect, no lag. I hate when apps are laggy. I absolutely hate it. Coinbase, so laggy. This is butter smooth. Animations are nice, easy to use. Functionality is there. Details of every ingredient are there. Five stars on the app. Company's looking good. Here's a sweet green kitchen. What is this? All right, so they like, what are they doing here? This is how they're making a dressing, I imagine. Oh, famed cashew dressing, looking good. They just gave away the recipe. I'm about to start a sweet green. <laughs> Let's read some Google reviews here. Okay, here we go. One of the problems with sweet green is that they have different menus in different states. All right, so it seems like he's just unhappy because he couldn't get the one he wanted and he was in a different state. That's not really a problem. 
big fan. We need to look at the bad reviews and see what they are saying. Oh, here we go. One star. I ordered food from this location from through Uber Eats, and it took over an hour. When I canceled the order because it was taking too long, I still got charged. Okay, he's just disgruntled about uh, an inconvenience, not about the food. Green flag. Portions are way too small to justify the price. Okay, this is a poor person talking. This is what we need to be paying attention to. What's the demographic? I've been to Sweet Greens all over the country, and this is the first time I've... Oh, okay. So this is an anomaly. This is not uh, across all stores. They serve your toppings in tablespoons. Wow. And I have to constantly ask for more onion or more salad. I do not recommend. You're better off walking across the street to Giardino. They are cheaper and proportions are large. Is this a competitor? Is that who it is? Is this Fatima really Giardino? Hmm. All right, so that's the deep dive on Sweetgreen. The website looks very good. Their mission looks good. Everything looks promising. I, I do see these guys sticking around. Typically, these type of companies don't go away. I mean, Chipotle, just over the past one year, is up 350% for selling burritos. Burritos. 50 billion burritos. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. That's a quick look into the IPO of Sweet Green that is coming soon. I think it's going to be on the 10th or 11th of November. So stay tuned for that. IPO access is on Robinhood. Check it out. That's it. If you want to jump into the Discord to get into the crypto games, link is in the description. If you want to jump into Retire Young Pro to get access to my buy and sell alerts, my portfolio, all that jazz, that link is in the description as well. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel. Don't forget by hitting that button. It's going to do magical things like get you a little bit closer to retiring. Yeah.